Well, the barrier draw can be your best friend or your worst enemy. And as far as champion trainer Jason Grimson and his star driver Cam Hart is concerned, that's exactly the case in two of the feature races at Club and Angle on Saturday night in the Chariots of Fire and also the Allied Express Sprint. I caught up with Cam to discuss the prospects of what looks to be an outstanding book of drives. Well, Cam, we're standing here. The Chariots of Fire on a roll is behind us. It's nice to have the name of Cam Hart on there. Yeah, definitely would be. It's um, one I definitely want to tick off uh, at some stage through my career, and hopefully it's this year. Well, let's go straight to the Chariots of Fire, which is race seven on the card. Frankie Ferocious, he's just been a sensation since joining Jason. Yeah, he's been awesome. Both his runs have been super impressive, and he's obviously going to have to step up again. It's a hot field, and um, yeah, but I've got plenty of confidence in the horse. I think he's going really well at the moment. What's well, made it even more intriguing, Cam, in fact, all the big guns don't stop dreaming, and also it's Merlin. have all drawn very well. Yeah, that's right. The draws, um, yeah, it's probably a bit of a tricky one to try and work out the gate speed and tactics. So not 100% sure uh, what our best best option will be yet, but um, still happy he's drawn pretty close to everything and, you know, hopefully we can get him a good run in transit. Of course, better be the best has drawn nicely in gate three as well. Nathan Turnbull, well, he won't be wasting any time. We know where he'll be heading. Yeah, that's right. It's probably been proven to be a great front-running horse and Nate's been driving him very confident and he went awesome on Saturday. He's a lovely horse and... He's obviously going to be going forward again and, um, you know, the two Kiwis drawn one and two, they've both got some nice gate speed as well. So it's, I think there'll be plenty on early and hopefully we can end up in a good spot. Kim, as we witnessed in the four-year-old Bonanza at Melton recently, first up for Jason, Frocious sat off the speed and then he led here in scoring very nicely as well. So he, he has that versatility. Yeah, 100% and that's definitely going to help us in a race like this because, you know, we're not necessarily going to end up in front or, or wherever he can, you know, he's very versatile, he can go with a sit or, you know, be in front. So that helps me a little bit. Uh, we just got to work out what the best option will be in this race. But, yeah, he's definitely can do it both ways. Over to the Allied Express, which is race six. And hi, my name's Jeff. The other end of the scale, he's drawn deep. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. I think the horse is going really well at the moment. He hasn't been at the races for a while, but his um, track work's been awesome and his trial was really nice. So, yeah, a bit of a shame he's out in the car park, but he's got that good speed. He can put himself into the race at some stage and, um, yeah, hopefully he can uh, get in amongst the action. He's eight from eight here at Club and Angle, eight from nine since joining Jason. Unlucky in the Hunter Cup, which was his only failure, and uh, certainly it wasn't a failure when you have a good look at the run. Yeah, he was really good down there. He just didn't handle the bend and got wide. And I think if he'd have had a front row draw that night, he, you know, I wouldn't go as far as say he would win it, but he would have been right up there. So, um, yeah, he's been awesome at Menangle. Obviously, he hasn't been beaten here yet, and he loves the Menangle Mile, and I'm sure he'll run a big mile this uh, week coming. And as you would expect, being the Allied Express Sprint, uh, lead up into the Miracle Mile, it's a Cracker Jack field. Yeah, that's right. It's a very strong field. Um, you know, we're going to probably have to chance our arm early and try and get him in the contest and see how we go. But I'm very confident the way the horse is going, he'll run a good race. Well, it's an impressive book of drives. It came in race one, My Ultimate Snowy or Magic Moment. Both uh, got chances, but My Ultimate Snowy looks to pee. Yeah, I'll probably take him in this race and he's going really well. He's been very consistent since his break and um, come back, he's won a race and a couple of placings here at Menangle, so he's knocking on the door. And it's a pretty solid race, and um, I think it's stepping up in distance, but um, yeah, he'll, he'll be thereabouts. Over to race two, you're listed for three of the runners, two for Jared Orchard, and both of them are going exceptionally well. Brooklyn Bridge in one, Mr. Truth in ten, and Jason Gibson's got better zip it. Yeah, it's a nice three to pick from. They're all really nice horses. Um, probably going to go with Brooklyn Bridge just because of the draw, and um, you know, he probably hasn't been up against horses like better zip it and that but I think he can step up to the grade and gave me a really good feel uh, last Saturday so we'll stick with him and see if he can step up. You said you were pleased with better zip it's return to racing? Yeah I think he's getting better and better and he's probably found a race where he can maybe bounce back um, if he gets the right run in transit and yeah we'll see what happens. Over to race five, the Cordina sprint, hot and treacherous, led here, very game in scoring then in the Newcastle mile just threw his chances away at the start. Yeah, it was a shame that he did that at Newcastle. I think he'd have been right in that race. Obviously, it would have been hard to see us beating Grant, but I think he'd have been right up there. And, um, yeah, hopefully he can bounce back here. He doesn't normally do things like that, so I think that was hopefully just a one-off. And uh, I think the horse is going really well. So it's probably got the bit weaker heat of the two, and hopefully we can qualify. Over the race, had a very nice drive here, Emma Stewart, Bay of Biscay. Only lightly race, but a very talented performer. Yeah, very talented horse. Um, yeah, very pleased to get the call um, to drive him. He's obviously bred very well and he's got a great record. So, yeah, he's a, obviously probably going to be a top three chance in the derby. And, um, yeah, it's a lovely drive to pick up. 
As far as Bay of Biscay is concerned, Cam, he does come up against his own age group, draws better and strips fitter. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, he didn't have a lot of luck first up. I thought the run was really good. He was off the track and a long way back. So he's been a horse. I think he's had about five or six starts and only been on the front row once. So he hasn't had any favours with the barrier draws, but I think he's very talented. Once again, you've got a choice in race nine. In gate two is Mickey B. Good for Dean Atkinson, race th and then uh, barrier three in excess for Daryl Graham. Yeah, both really nice horses with good ability. Uh, drove in excess first up in Australia for Daryl in the Simpson, and he went really great sectionals and, and really gave me a good feel, so I'd probably go with him uh, over Mickey be good, but he's got a lot of talent um, himself, so if he gets the right run, he'll be right in the race. Yeah, in excess, the former Kiwi nice you're drawing in gate three, and he does look to have a lot of upside. Yeah, for sure. He really surprised me the way he got home. I think he went like 25-7 or something his last quarter in that Simpson, and he never really got out, so um, yeah, I think he's got a lot of upside. Um, I think he'll be definitely a top two or three hope in this race. Over the last hurry deal, once again for Daryl Graham. He's going around today before his engagement here on Saturday. Yeah, we haven't seen a hell of a lot of him. He obviously did something wrong his first Menangle start out of the gate, so we didn't see too much of him, but he's won a couple at Albion Park, and he's probably stepping up in grade, but uh, we'll see how it goes today. Pretty hard to ask you for a special on such a night. Oh, we'll just leave it at wishing you're the very best for what looks to be an outstanding book of drives. Yeah, thank you.